Hey guys, what's going on? Jumping back on real quick with another quick message. This one comes from Isaiah 222. It says, Stop trusting in mere humans who have but a breath in their nostrils. Why hold them esteem? So I know nowadays, especially with the world that we're living in, everybody is quick to jump to the person, whoever they have in their inner circle, people who they have in their family, and just quick to take their advice on anything. They rely on their job, they rely on family members, they rely on the resources that they have, but they do not rely on Jesus. That's one of the most sinful things that we can do right now in these perilous times is put all our trust and all our faith in best friends, girlfriends, friend girls, partners, my boys, my brothers, uncles, jobs, money, and things of that nature. Even I'm guilty of it. You know what I'm saying? And it took me a while to get to the point to where I'm at, not to even get up here and make videos and speak about it. So I say that to say this, that, you know, Jesus, he died on the cross for us. He gave his life for us. I mean... The least that we, the most that we can do is put our trust in Him. If you feel uncertain and don't know about something, you need somebody to talk to, just pray about it. He just want to hear you talk to Him. Just sit down, come to Him, humble yourself, and just speak. You don't have to put on no great facade or make sure all the words line up properly because I myself, I was, I was a reserved type of person. I felt like everything had to be put together for me to come and and pray and to speak to God acknowledge him in anything that I've done you know what I'm saying and that can lead to pridefulness and a whole host of other sinful natures and things like that so yeah just take time to pray about it you know definitely give praise and thanks for the things that we do have but it's not for us to put all our trust and our faith into these things that and people that God has placed in our lives, you know? Um, but yeah, I would definitely take that into consideration and and go and check the word out for yourself, you know? Check the word out for yourself. It's Isaiah 2.22. And again, you know, put your trust and your faith in Jesus. You know, it's a, it's a learning curve for all of us, especially if you've been doing and living your, your life a certain way for 20-something years, 30-something years, you know? got a lot of layers of carnal, carnal thoughts and desires and thinking and uh, your mind frame and your conditioning. It's been adaptive to the world. And again, that goes back to another scripture that says that we have not been given the spirit of the world. We have been given the spirit of that which is from God so we can understand what he has freely given us, you know. And that's from 1 Corinthians 2.1.2. So, yeah, definitely put your trust and your faith in, in the Lord, in Jesus. He's here. He's a present help whenever we need him. Even at times that we don't even acknowledge him, he's there. He helps us. You know, we, we make the wake up list every day. People that's alive, especially after COVID and all this other stuff that then took place. You know, you, you're fortunate and blessed to wake up every day. He wakes you up. Put you on the wake up list. Put your trust in him. You know, don't, you don't have to know all the ins and outs of where you're going, where he's taking you to. Just, just try it out for yourself. You know, so nobody else can tell you no fairy tales and lead you on and mislead you. You know, a lot of people put their trust in other people just to find out that these people are not who they were built to be, or they didn't hold up to what. I, you know, I thought they were, or we may have thought, or you may have thought that they were, you know, and it's for a reason that things like that happen to people. You put all your trust and faith in your lover, you know, you love your partner so much, or you love her so much to where, you know, you just disregard everything else, yourself, your body, your health, your spiritual relationship, and, you know, that's not right, that's not right at all, you know, but again, you know, Put your trust in the Lord. Stop trusting in humans. Yes, seek God first. Make sure he's at the head of what's going on. Make sure he's at the helm of your ship, your vessel, your mind, your heart, you know. But I'm going to leave y'all with that. And y'all have a blessed one. I'll holler back at y'all later. Catch some more beans.